Some people in Rantoul say they're getting a whiff of an unpleasant smell. They've noticed a strong odor coming from the wastewater facility. The village has been struggling with it for the past few weeks. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is live in our newsroom. So, Jamie, you were out there today. How bad is it? When I was out there, the smell coming from the wastewater facility wasn't that strong. I spoke to people who work nearby who say the odor comes and goes, but they're looking forward to it going away for good. There's something in the air. A hog, hog smell. That has people like Linda Nierenhausen holding their breath. I tried to cover my, my mouth with my coat and that wasn't working. I mean, it was just horrible. Nierenhausen says she has worked at this salon for 16 years and hasn't smelled anything quite like it. Last Saturday morning, we had people coming in and just saying, oh my goodness, it is so bad out there. The mayor says there's more than one reason for the stench. A source of it is this facility. The uh, production at the uh, Rantoul uh, Foods has increased dramatically. So they're putting more of that waste into our sewer systems. This problem is really an opportunity uh, because it was inevitable that they were going to grow uh, and produce more and create more jobs. The city says there have also been some mechanical breakdowns in the treatment process at Rantoul Foods. That has also contributed to the issue. But they say none of this has impacted water quality. Now the city is trying to sniff out a solution. They're taking preventive steps on their part to treat of uh, the sewage coming into in the community. And we're also treating it on our side. Uh, we're all in the process right now of lining the um, wastewater lines that go from the hog plant uh, to our uh, disposal system to help uh, keep down the stench. They hope these measures will give people some relief soon. And I hope that gets done. And bring an end to a pretty funky situation. The mayor says they hope to have the issue fully addressed before summer. Live in the newsroom, Jamie Mays, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Jamie, thanks.